Hello friends and welcome back to Unbound Learners Pre-K. My name is Nina. What's your name? It's so nice to meet you. Did you have a great weekend? That's so good to hear. All right friends, let's sing our good morning song together. We're going to stretch our arms out like airplane wings and fly your airplane to one side, fly your airplane to the other side, fly your airplane to the middle, and take your airplane wings and take them into a big circle out in front of you like this. Now, bring that circle up over your head and stretch from one side, stretch over to the other side, one last stretch up at the top, and now we'll bring our circle back down and sing together. Good morning, dear earth. Good morning, dear sun. Good morning, dear rocks and flowers, everyone. Good morning, dear beast and birds in the trees. Good morning to you and good morning to me. Good morning, friends. I hope you're having a wonderful day so far. So before we get started with the calendar and weather chart, there are three things that we need to do. The first thing that we need to do is turn on our listening ears like this. The second thing that we need to do is put on our thinking hats. Let's see, here's my thinking hat. I'm going to put it on top of my head. And the third and final thing that we need to do is warm something up. Can you show me what part of our bodies we need to warm up? Our hearts, that's right and we warm up our hearts like this. Boom, 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 boom. So now that our listening ears are on, our thinking hats are on, and our hearts are warmed up, it is time to get started with circle time. I have my pointing stick, and I'm going to bring it up to the top of the chart. Right up here, we have the month. Do you know what the month is? April, that's right, the month is April. And the month of April is almost over because today is April 26th. So I'm going to move the chip over from the number 23. That was the last time that we met. We'll go to 24, 25, and right on the number 26. Look at this friends, we are starting the last week of April. Today is April 26th, 2021. But you can also say that the year is 2021. Both ways are correct. So friends, let's take our counting fingers and let's count the remaining days, the days that are left in the month of April. After today, we have one, two, three, four. Four more days left in the month of April after today. Friends, in four days, we will begin a brand new month. Listen carefully to the words in this next song and notice what month comes after April. It goes like this. January, February, March and April, May and June, July and August, September, October, November, December, 12 months in a year. Did you hear what month comes after April? May! May is the next month and it will be here in just a few days. So friends, now it's time to move on to the Days of the Week song. If you know the words to this next song, you can sing along with me. First, we need to hold up our seven fingers for the seven days of the week. There are seven days, there are seven days, there are seven days in a week. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. I'm going to travel down to the bottom of the chart. This says that yesterday was Here's your clue, Su Sunday. Yesterday was Sunday, 
the last day of the weekend. So that means that today is M Monday. Today is Monday, the first day of the weekday. And tomorrow will be Tuesday. Tomorrow will be Tuesday. But let's go back to today and let's sing Today is Monday together. Are you ready? Today is Monday, today is Monday, today is Monday, all day long. Today is Monday, today is Monday, today is Monday, all day long. I'm going to travel back up to the top of the chart. Right up here we have the season. Do you remember what the season is? We have been talking all about this season for the month of April. It's springtime! That's right, friends. And now when I travel back down to the bottom of the chart, that means that it's time to sing the weather song together. Friends, I have a new weather song to teach you, and it goes like this. What's the weather? What's the weather? What's the weather today? Is it rainy? Is it windy? Is it sunny out today? So when I look at the bottom of my chart, this is a picture of a cloud and the sun. Because when I look outside of my window right now, it's mostly cloudy. There are lots of puffy white cumulus clouds, but I can still see the sun shining a little bit. My temperature chart is right between light blue and orange. It's a little bit cool this morning, but later on the day, in the day, it's supposed to warm up. And hopefully I'll be able to change the temperature chart over to orange later. What's the weather like where you live, friends? Look out your window and let me know what you see. Thanks for sharing the weather with me. And now let's move on to the letter, the number, and the sign of the week. Because we are starting a brand new week, we have a new letter to talk about. This letter says K, K. Can you make that sound with me? K, K. And this is a lowercase K. K says K, K. Let's move on to the letter box. Inside of this box, I have something that starts with the letter K. K. Here's your first clue. This is something that is used to unlock and lock a door. It is also used to start a car. Hmm. Do you have any ideas? Let's take a look and see. Keys. Key starts with the letter K. K. Now right here, I have a set of keys. I have one, two keys. These are used to lock and unlock the shed that I have in my driveway. K is for key. This is how you write a lowercase k. K. One more time. We also have a new number to talk about this week. So last week, our double digits numbers began with a new number, the number two. Friends, this double digit number is 21. When you write this double digit number, you write two numbers. Can you show me with your fingers what number you write first? Two, that's right. And after you write the number two, you write this number. Can you show me with your fingers what number this is? One, two, one, 21. Let me grab my piece of chalk and we can count or draw tally marks together. Friends, if you would like to take something out and draw the tally marks with me at the same time, you can do that. 
If not, you can just count along with me. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five goes across, six, seven, eight, nine, ten goes across, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen goes across, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty goes across, and one more makes twenty-one. Twenty-one tally marks. Now, let's take a peek inside of the box and see what we have to count. I'm grabbing all of these small sticks called twigs. And on Mondays, when we count the twigs, I line them up just like tally marks. Will you count them with me? One, two, three, four, five goes across. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten goes across, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen goes across, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty goes across, and one more makes twenty-one. Twenty-one twigs. So we've learned the new letter of the week and we went over the new number of the week. And now it's time to go over the new sign of the week. This week, I'm going to teach you how to say tree in sign language. Now sign language is a language that uses hand gestures and facial expressions to communicate instead of speaking out loud. This is how you say tree in sign language. Watch one more time. You're going to take one of your arms and bring it flat across the front of you like this. And with your other arm, you're going to make a tree and move it slightly like this. Can you do that too, friends? Tree. Let's continue our springtime botanical exploration. Last week, we learned about seeds and flowers. And this week, we're going to learn about other plants that grow in the springtime. So a plant needs three things to grow. Do you remember what those three things are? Soil, sunshine, and water. That's right, friends. But how does a plant drink water? Do you know? Through its roots. You're right. Now roots are the part of the plant that grow underground. Do you see these roots right here? This is the plant stem and there are some leaves coming off of it. And at the bottom, these little white strings are the roots. Now a root not only holds the plant in place, but roots also absorb the nutrients and water that are inside of the soil. It's similar to how a straw works. Let me show you. So I have a glass of water right here, and I also have a straw. I'm going to take a sip of the water, and the water is going to go up the glass, through the straw, and into my mouth. Just like a plant uses its roots to suck the water up from the soil, into the stem, and up through the leaves, like this. So when water travels up through a plant, that's called transpiration. Can you say transpiration? Today I have a really cool experiment to show you. That's what our work for the day is going to be. Let's go check it out. For today's work, you are going to get to conduct an experiment to show how transpiration works. Remember, transpiration is the process of water traveling up a plant. So for this experiment, you're going to need three glasses of water, and I added a few drops of different color food coloring to each glass. So I have some blue water right here, some red water, and green water. 
and I also have three celery stalks. Now I made sure to take the celery stalks from the center of the celery where they have the leafy greens on top. That's going to be important. So when you use the celery, make sure that they have the leafy greens on top. And I'm just going to put one celery stalk inside of each glass. And I'm going to leave this overnight and we'll check back tomorrow and see what happens. Let's get back to circle time. Welcome back to circle time, friends. I have a song that I'd like to share with you, and it goes like this. The roots hold the plant in place. The roots hold the plant in place. The roots store the food and the water too. The roots hold the plant in place. So remember friends, this transpiration experiment may take a few hours to work, maybe even overnight, but we'll check back tomorrow and see what happens. And that will be something to look forward to. You can also check on the experiment every few hours to see if anything is happening to the celery. Before we go, we have one last song to sing. Can everybody wave goodbye like this? Goodbye friends. Goodbye, friends. Goodbye, friends. I'll see you next time. Thanks for learning with me today, friends. If you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel. Give this video a big thumbs up and find me on OutSchool for my live and interactive classes. You can also support my channel by checking out my Patreon page and gain access to bonus features for your child. I hope you all have a wonderful day and I'll see you tomorrow.